All right, I've gotten some rest. I'm ready to continue, or so I think. Uh, we did tutorial this place right at Crossroads here. This ain't nothing. Uh, Warped World 4, what's over here? Demos of Fluffy Dream. Sounds like exactly what we need to do when we have zero lives. Prepared to game over immediately. Escape from the nightmare. Press right to duck. Left to kick Furbas and to jump to jump over spikes? Okay, so that was right to duck, left to kick Furbas. Okay. Oh. I'm alarmed. <laughs> eh? Oh. <laughs> I think I stepped on spikes and didn't even realize it. They kind of blended into the grass for me. Alright, no, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, that's what I was expecting to happen anyway, just die immediately. Alright, this time, with more paying attention. I pressed down. Uh, oh wait, you're supposed to press jump. <laughs> I'm stupid. Down is to duck. and. Uh, Huh. Okay. I mean, I made it over the first hazard. There we go, and I kicked the Furba. Yes. I'm doing it. It's working. Duck. Oh, right is duck. I'm stupid. No. <laughs> Why couldn't they make down duck? That would be way more intuitive. Oh well, it's whatever. I'll game over on this stage as many times as it takes. Freaking Google dinosaur game wannabe. I did it. Dang it. <laughs> I think I was locked into that action because I held it for too long. This is a little bit weird. Okay. Yeah. I ducked. I did it. Ah! I confused myself with controls. Also, what was that? <laughs> Something blinked in there and it was a little bit creepy. We're gonna be here for a minute, ain't we? Oi. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. Don't sweat it. Just, just enjoy the chill vibes while I fail miserably. I pushed you late. <laughs> Sounded like there was a lava sound effect there. So whatever's going on behind the scenes in this, uh, it's rather peculiar. What? Oh, come on! How did I push that one too late? <laughs> uh, I swear that was about the same time I used for the other spikes, so that's kind of worrisome. It's like, how far in advance of the spikes do I need to jump? Like, there's a little bit of delay on, like, the sprite's reaction to what I'm doing versus what's, uh, happening. Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Duck. Jump. Jump. Uh, okay, I wasn't sure which of those was gonna happen first. Dang it! <laughs> Furbas! <laughs> uh, things reach us at variable speeds. That's just a little bit tricky. It would be nice if failure wasn't instant death, but I guess that's how they had to set it up with what the heck this is doing. Just 
so the spike obstacles approach at about the same speed. But the furbas creep up more slowly. Dang it! <sighs> Which am I supposed to do first, game? The furba or spikes? Erg. And naturally, a stage like this probably can't handle a checkpoint. Or if it does, I guess we just haven't encountered yet. And it's a little bit slow paced for what we're doing here. Okay, <laughs> we cleared the gauntlet. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, I think we've done it. <laughs> okay. There's our castle. We made it. Okay, that's that. Demonic Library, bonus level. Let's check it out. I'm here. Book? Talk to me, book. The Book of Flight. Well, can, can I use it? The Spire. And a left wing. Uh... Left wing first. Hmm. Wow, man. Sometimes falling, it leads you to new discoveries. That is how zebras were discovered, actually. You know, a Spanish explorer was like, Man, I'm going to go discover Indies, and I don't know how he managed to do it, but he fell off his boat and landed on a zebra. It's a tragic story of hegemony and loss of detail. From the Untitled Book, Chapter 19, Verses 802-820. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just one of Raukau's many random tangents he goes on in his own commentary. Well, I feel that I should jump in more knives in my daily routine. If you do that, your stress is probably going to be reduced by like 34% somehow. Don't ask me, I'm not a cutlery expert. From the Book of Dead Bunnies, Chapter 7, verses 1332-1344. Hi, Patchouli. She is reading a book, How to Be a Cat, written by an unknown author. Patchouli Knowledge. Drizzle that humidifies the air is the book's worst enemy. I imagine they get moldy in here unless someone takes them to the safety. Good knowledge. Uh. Mm hmm. More doors. Lots of books. I wish I had a uh, slinky so I could make it go down the stairs alone or in pairs and uh, knock over the neighbor's dog. Oh wait, that's another fun-filled stair-based toy, but uh, I think they were removed from the market before most people could buy. It's very difficult to buy pieces of wood in this modern age, at least at the toy store. Back in my day, you would go to the Toys R Us and all they'd give you was an aluminum can. And you were there, or you were. If you were lucky, there might have been ants still in it. Ah, the good days. From the Unlimited Book, Chapter 1, Verses 1242 through 1319. Hmm. Just swim and swim and to your heart's content, and one day die of oxygen loss, but that's not going to be until the exact end of the universe, when all the oxygen in the world will cool into the giant yak and go, Aha, screw that, I've breathed all my life here, and it's time to take a break. And then the implosion occurs and I'm still swimming. Amongst the grid, amongst the living, amongst the smell and the uneven always forever. In the second book of things, Zombie Edition, chapter 55, verses 420 through 452. Very educational text. This book is completely blank. Ah, oh, the future to be written. You know, waste is what makes the world turn. That and Ice Machine. It's or it's pretty surprising, you know, considering Ice Machines were invented way after Earth was even close to be or, or close to being completed. So uh, it's kind of strange how that works. Like I suppose before Ice Machines were invented, Earth simply didn't spin. But you'd think that then. Uh, 
if it was spinning, it would have somewhat an effect on society or something, but it seems that was not the case. Some things are just never meant to be understood. From the Book of Rocks, chapter 6, verses 330 through 401. Okay, I understand now the meaning of the Fountainhead. Basically, everyone is a jerk, so everyone has to destroy each other. However, literally killing a person is illegal, so just destroy them financially, and so instead of being merely dead, they'd be better off dead. Man, everything is so simple when you've got Anne Brown around. From the first book of Limes, chapter 4, verses 1106 through 1130. You gotta watch out for things that are too obvious. It just might be, be common sense speaking. Or it might be, you know, deceit. To see the guy with the face, that's the code name on the internet and other areas of the internet that are not based entirely upon the uh, production of, you know, utensils that are used to compare, you know, tonsils, because that's just one part of nature that I wish we were better equipped for and is a need that I truly see in our modern society. We are not yet stigmatizing people for the tonsil, and I think that is wrong, and a guy that had them removed, I should be... I don't know, worried? That sounds accurate. In the second book of Limes, chapter 10, verses 513 through 601. The text of this book has faded a long time ago. Oh, the past forgotten. Wikipedia. This book has seemingly endless pages. More and more every day. Huh. Let's do here. Um. Looks like I can ascend, but I don't know to what point or purpose. Higher. Oh, we found a key. Look at us. Uh, cat. Co-play ASMBXT. Oh, I press the button. And that and that and that and the others. They all are very cool. Yeah, probably. Box. Found chest. Value 23 GB. It's pretty empty. Oh. Well. We obtained some cash, I guess. But not the kind of cash that we can cash in for lives. Certainly not. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, uh, no, I haven't meant to press right, not up. Where an airship is staffed by the dead, left of the green switch you must head. Okay. For a salad bar by Otane Falls to finally be found, keep the switch until the last of solid ground. Ah. Uh. These must be hints for levels that are probably not in this level pack. <laughs> oh, I jumped on the bookcase, and now we can't proceed to the left. Uh, well, actually, should I be reading this from right to left? Step 1. See red girders that somehow float. Step 2. Ignore coin arrows. Step 3. Crouch to tooth. Step 4. Stand in the place where you are. First face, or face west. Step 5. Mysteries. Step 6. Profit. Now, where denizens speak virtues of elements red, green, and blue, Seek out a key, and through its door, go back in the zone of shoe. Okay. This book is full of boring numbers. The above is but one castle path of heights, and gently m weather? Strike orange, strike, or strike orange switch, and backtrack to find elsewhere, the other. In the land where yellow hurts, and also sometimes blue, make sure to check the pipes you see that sport a blander hue. The skills you learned staving off a certain apocalypse will serve you well in a certain pat patina-covered fortress. I would try to remember any of that if I thought it was actually important. Where a deserted hell's lullaby is remembered once forgot, follow coins to your death and the key you will spot. On your journey to the canopy, after flooding a tree, its roots you should see. Oh. There's even more hints, and there's a door. I'll tear the door first. Big gaboo. It's not coming closer. Marisa. Marisa Kurosawa. Me and Patchouli are borrowing some magical books here. Zed, this place is huge. Yeah, it really is. The title is Six Little Furbas. Odd spelling. You crack it open and begin to read. Six little furbas into the mine did dive. One froze up underground, and then there were five. Five little furbas rode the lift up a floor. One got stuck in the wall, and then there were four. Four little furbas said the peak they'd see. One had no way back down, and then there were three. Three little furbas went down the chimney, or er, down the chimney flue. One had too much warmth, and then there were two. Two little furbas in the dark had some fun. One forgot his onion sight, and then there was one. One little furba, after Ninji did run, 
got trapped in tunnel blue, and then there were none. No little Furbas found the sky's key. One saw the door, though. It's not McCain's, is it? Z? Z? I don't know. It rhymes if it's Z. You can't talk to this ghost. In caverns of the lava lands, strike down and down again to summon up the powers of one's most loyal friend. Then follow pipes of silver bright and the first prize you'll find. The second needs a golden key to its secret unwind. Super high amidst the skies, a single coin marks a surprise. When surfing the blue, halfway down the track, continue as you mean to start. Looking for the real level 18? Check for some symmetry in level 0. Hmm. Where astroturf is orange and blue, study the ceiling for the leak's clue. Well, no one is better at navel gazing than a genie. Hmm. Those castles are made for entering, that better be what you do, and the end relay, or it'll be the end of you. A book up here, this one's on fire. This book is literally on fire. It reads, When is a floor of lava not a floor of lava? When it's growing a vine after the midpoint. Um... Very unhelpful, I'm sure. So, am I supposed to be able to get up? Looks like I can see the ceiling when I jump really high, so I don't think I am. And this is just going to exit the library, huh? Yes. Alright, I'm pretty sure that wraps things up in World 3. So let's warp to World 4 and see what's waiting for us. Trippy. I will hurt. I always make my levels either for someone else or to myself. Thinking about how to do that best can be very rewarding. Here are World 3 Path 1 levels. Fallout Wasteland. Mm -hmm. Accident, yes. Cats closer to nature. Mm -hmm. Bunny or a boy. Uh -huh. Desert Town. Uh, and World 3 Path 2 levels. Uh, Guidance Rocks. Red vs. Blue. Forest Sanctuary. Tutorial of Spikes. Demo Sluffy Dream and Demonic Library. Yes, I believe we visited all of those. Wait, so he said Desert Town? What was Desert Town? Desert Town was a bonus level. I don't remember, though. I'm sure if I went there, I would remember. Eh. I'll keep an eye out when I rewatch this after it goes live, when it's already too late. Or is it really too late? Is it ever really too late? The answer is no, it's never really too late. Unless I randomly die out of the blue, it's never too late. And hopefully my demise is a long way off. No, oh, we can go up or down. I will go up first. Snowy evening. I oh, want that blue coin. Oh, there's fur has fallen. I am such an expert at video games. So that was what not to do, and a very perfect demonstration of it. Let us now uh, try to do the correct thing. Yes. There you go. Alright, the shell is not coming back. What is this? Is it a snowball? Oh, it was a snowball. That's a little bit clever. Can I climb this? I cannot. Can I stand on it? No. Can I jump and collect the coin? Or the coin. The rupee. Whatever. Yes, I can. I want that 20. Alright, you. Are you jumping? What's your game? I don't know what your game is, but now you're dead. Well, uh, it's physics. I did not have enough momentum for that jump. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotcha, nerd. Gotcha. Oh, I wanted to get him too. But because he started walking up the slope, it was his butt who got me instead. But for real, I want this. Squish. Yes. Yes. I can use these to ascend if I'm careful. Haha. -ha. Froze. Squish. Question block. Something helpful? Yes! Now I won't die in a single hit again! Bonk. There you go, bud. You're dead. Worms. Can't freeze that thing anyway, I'm pretty sure. 
You know, I'm gonna drop this. And make these worms pay for what they did. It wasn't their fault, but I'm gonna pretend it was. Um. No, wait, wait. Ah! I knew that rabbit was gonna walk off that ledge, and I was like, oh, okay, this is a disaster waiting to happen. And so it did. Oh, I ran out of lives again. Yay!